It was really interesting. I, I, I mean, I went, to, I went over there in the, su in the summer, and I, had, I was meant to get a, an apartment for a bunch of friends, you know? Yeah. But they were all going to move over and get jobs. Uh, they, didn't, they didn't turn up, yeah. So I used to wait at Euston Station for them to come. And for some reason, something happened in their lives, so they didn't come. So the money ran out. So I ended up sleeping in the park opposite Euston Station, you know? And uh, gradually, I just found myself on the streets. It was extraordinary, you know? And uh, because I had nowhere to go. And it was a really interesting experience because you suddenly become invisible, you know? People don't actually look at you, you know? And you obviously get filthy, you know? You don't look right, you don't smell right, probably. And you end up in, in, in environments that are so shocking that you do not want to ask for help, you know? I mean, the last people I would have uh, told about the situation I was in would, would be my family, you know? Because there's a sense of shame about where you've, where, where you've gotten to, you know? Yes. And uh, I found it a really interesting experience. And I don't, I, don't, I don't think, I mean, I'm glad I went through it, you know? It was quite terrifying, quite dangerous. But I don't think people fully understand homelessness, you know, and I think the most pertinent fact for me at the time was shame, you know, a sense of shame. The shame of? Just shame of that you've kind of fallen through the cracks somehow, you know? Yeah.